Hello everybody, I think I'm ready to get started. Welcome Granite Knight, hope you're doing well today. Shout a little bit. So unfortunately we've been experiencing a lot of uh, internet issues here. So for people wondering, at least on, from the YouTube standpoint, what's been going on. We've been experiencing a lot of drops. So we're going to try to fit in a bonus stream, see how it goes. Uh, b before our normal uh, Phoenix Wright to make up for some PSO. So probably if things go well tonight, we'll try again tomorrow for more PSO. And we'll move forward from there. Today is unfortunately the last day for the rare item up. And I think today has been the only day so far. I haven't had drops pretty much every 30 minutes. So we're going to see how far we get today. Might be pushing our luck with it. I guess we'll find out. Let's go reacquaint ourselves with the bonuses. Maybe we'll do a warm up TTF, see who's here in about 10 minutes or so. And depending on who's here, we'll do some multiplayer games. Almost even B, that's good to know. Forecast is forces, humans, males. Okay. So I got an okay bonus playing this Ramar. So we'll start solo because I imagine it'll take some time for people to trickle in because it's not our normal streaming hour. So for now, let's just warm up a little. Yeah, if I'm playing solo, I don't think I need Excalibur. Yeah. So hopefully the people that were looking for help or looking for items are back again today. Uh, we had to cancel several streams, unfortunately, due to the issues earlier. So hopefully today will be the start of a new successful at least two hours before issue stream. That would be nice. In the meantime, we're just finishing up the Sonic Rival soundtrack. Goodbye, random enemies. Might as well just pick up Masetta as I walk forward. So yeah, based on who's here, after we're done with the TTF, we'll maybe switch over to... Well, I'm not going to say something other than TTF, but we'll potentially swap it up. Episode 4, going into even beat, opens up a lot of uh, purple runs. Opens up uh, green and red runs as well for things like Heaven Striker, Cannon Rouge. All of which I'm more than happy to go for. I think at this point, it really is like there's only a handful of items that I'm actually genuinely interested in attaining. I'm not interested in hunting like the, the uber rare versions of my items with like the god hit percentages. I do need a little something better than what we have for Cannon Rouge because I've rolled like basically dead minimum on Cannon Rouge. Like I'm not expecting 50 hit or like 60 hit. I just want 15 hit. Like, I don't, I don't think I'm asking for much. I need one hit percentage. Literally, it can, ro it can be at 5 and I roll it up to 15. That would be fun. Because it, it puts my Ramar at a perfect position for multiplayer. Obviously, other characters would like it to be higher. Like, I would like a 20 to 30% one with potentially a beast and or native. I mean, that would be ideal. But at this point, I'm like, I just want a small upgrade 
where I would see a tangible benefit, at least in multiplayer, I would. So that way I can consistently land heavy, heavy, heavy on things like your worm boss and your dragon. Ramar doesn't have that problem in single player now that he has the equivalency of Ranger Wall, Red Ring, etc. But other characters are not that lucky. I was hoping for a crit there, to be honest. Unfortunate. Three escape dolls looks pretty good. I'm not gonna buff until I'm basically at Worm Boss, there's no point. There we go, the guns cooperated today. I actually don't want Mega Mid's ability, but if I get it, I get it. Doesn't really matter. Oh, cool. One of the only times I don't want Mega Mid's ability is solo Ramar. I'm like, nah, I kind of just want to take the damage, to be real with you. Get that reset in there real quick. Get that attack reset, thanks to the enemy. There we go. Save some time there. Does the attack reset me on the second of my two heavy attacks? Fairly consistently there. Oh, oops. Tried walking towards the back of the boat and then I overcorrected. Make sure I face the right way. You know what, I should just normal attack there. My damage is just so damn high. This is what I'm talking about. Like, I just have like a min hit Yashminikov. And granted, it has some machine percentage, which does help. But like, just a normal heavy is good enough to kill that enemy. Like, that's crazy. The damage is so good. I mean, I guess technically if I'm gonna do Sinnoh, I guess while I'm waiting, I could afford to do it. I'd leave myself with like a 30 second window or so. I don't necessarily need shift on that previous room. Hmm. We're talking like very minor time save, like maybe five seconds. But if you're doing a run over and over, you might as well do a time save if you notice it. in here. That is so rude to confuse me. This is why I regret not keeping all my cure confuses. I know I've pulled them before in one case, but I've given them away for the most part. Now that I've been focusing a lot on Ramar specifically, I'm like, damn, I really need more. I don't bother reapplying D-Ban there since it doesn't matter. Everything that's going to hit me is going to hit me for basically set damage. Or elemental damage. Maybe the Centaur will hit me. Maybe. Doesn't really matter. Seriously. It's unlucky. 
Yeah, this is why people also gazond. It's to make sure that if you get two monitors instead of three. Well, to make sure you don't get two instead of three is what I meant to say. Almost didn't swap fast enough. That was a slow swap. <clears throat> Hello, Imperameter. Hope you're doing well. Wrapping up our warm up TTF. Oh, seriously? What a troll attack. Roll my eyes on that one. I might as well rest this since I'm here. Low victory sound effects. The soundtrack is celebrating the parameter being here. Oh, gel on level 20. I didn't see which box dropped it. That was unfortunate. I had to check them all. There it is. That is actually a good pickup. Especially for newer characters. And everything's trimates. Give me one second as I check the soundtrack. I had a feeling that was the end. Let's go to the second game soundtrack. Oh yeah, chat. Uh, I should have Yashminikov, but it's fine. We committed. We didn't hesitate. If we pick the wrong choice, sometimes you just commit. There we go. Just believe. It'll work out. My brain was thinking about this part of the run, and I'm like, wait a minute. I'm not there yet. Silly me. That's a diamate, not a trimate. Oops. Rip. That's what you get for not playing for a while. I forgot my colors. I saw trimate in the item reader, but it was not a trimate that dropped. Is there anything you're looking to hunt in Parameter? So we're just we're a little shy even beat. Probably like in a half hour or so we'll be good for it. Decide if going over here is worth it or not. Maybe. I still like going left first and then right. Even though I start facing right. There we go. I got the good angle this time. That's what I want to see with Heaven Striker. And that's also why I need one with a better hit percentage. Like, literally any. Make life so much easier. Oh, I should have moved forward a little further. I would have dodged. Fortunate. close. Almost got free damage. Okay, we'll move harder to the side. Oh, I, I overcorrected. That's fine. It did this attack, though. 
Uh, I should probably heal. 687 summon to survive, and I don't think it's worth escape doling. I could just try to dodge with Wyluula if I wanted. But nah, that's fine. Alright, so let's see what the game does here. Is it gonna leave me in range of Heaven Striker? It did. Ooh, that reward was so high. This might actually be dead here. Indeed. That was a good position. The boss doesn't have to end in front of me. It just has to not end at either like the equivalency of 12 o'clock, 11 o'clock, or 1 o'clock. If it's at like 3, three, three to 6 is fine. We can work with it. Ideally, or 3 to 9 is fine. Anything before that, it depends on where I am, if it's good. But generally speaking, those first three numbers I mentioned are just not good enough for us. So even with the extra farm, that was still barely over 13. Which we will gladly take. Just looking at something. So let me know, chat, if you want to play some games together. I believe I owe somebody from last time some techniques. Now that our internet is up and running. So just make a comment and we'll uh, hook you up. Let's go ahead and heal. Mm, yeah, I could give the star anonymizer to that. Is plus 10 the max for this? It is, okay. Disappointing, but whatever. If he hit Ice Scepter, what a waste. Check your head, chat. It could have been something else. Hmm. I do need to get my grinders from somebody else. I mean, I'm slowly recovering them, don't get me wrong, but uh, we also have to put away all these techniques. So you can see, like, I have enough for, like, a level, like, a raw moral. Like, I have, like, all the basics now. A couple, uh, raw mar slash humor attacks as well. And we've just been sitting on these. So our general pickup hasn't been too bad. All I hear is always race to win. Not bad. So, if I were to play episode 4, I would just play as my Fomar to give myself and other team members the biggest rare bonus. Ramar by themselves is still pretty good. Check the forecast. It was male right at the end. Yeah, it was male. Technically, Newmans wouldn't be too bad. There was the male Newman. So yeah, let's see who's around. Would anybody like to do some runs? And if so, what would you like to do? I'm good for episode 4, good for episode 2, good for episode 1. Otherwise, I'll just go back to my solo TTF grind. So I'll give chat a moment or two to respond. I do need to put away some techniques, actually. So I'm going to do while I wait for people to respond. Let's go ahead and see bank 99, because that's what I love to do. Put all those techniques away. Race to win arrangement. Let's look at what the song was called. Makes sense. 
Like, it's all techy pick up all the techs. So I said before, if there's somebody that needed techniques, now would be the perfect time, because I'm about to swap who has the techniques. Uh, let's see. It's time to make a game. In case somebody wants to join it, I'm just going to call it Ziggy. Password will be getting normal, normal, normal. You have like a minute or two while I'm on this character. Either immediately join or at least message in Twitch chat and I'll wait slightly. Either way, I got to transfer these texts out. Because I just have way too many in my bank again. I'm going to put this in the character bank. Oh, what a relief. Almost like 18 slots recovered. Curiosity. Oh, you do have some of my grinders. Um, Let's put back 30 of each. Inventory full. Oh, you, oh you're holding grinders already. Um, and then just put like 30 back. This should cover what I was trying to do the other day. Yeah, that should cover me. Okay, well, I don't see anybody saying that they want to do any runs, so I'm gonna go back to solo at that point. Oh. <laughs> I could technically try to roll up the Shadow Gladius if I wanted to. Hmm. Welcome, Hellcleave. Hope you're doing well. Would you like to do any runs? I'm open for anything help you. Nice. Gafoe merges are in here. Still get some red rings. I'm going to switch to one other character. <laughs> Just to put away some items. And then I think we'll get started. So for people looking to do episode 4, episode 2, episode 1. I'm good. <laughs> anything is fine, says help you. Well, let's do a little warm-up with TTF. I don't think we need that many people to clear it. And then maybe when it goes to even beat, do you want to just do episode 4? Unless somebody's looking for something in episode 2 specifically, like your, uh... Olga Flow boss drops, as it were. I just figure pretty much everybody needs a red ring. But I don't mind going for the Parasitic Gene Flow. Need everything? Sure thing, Hellcleave. In one moment, we're gonna put away our items, and I'll make a game in TTF. I think I'll bring in my Ramar, unless you need me to bring in somebody else. Uh, okay, you should be good then. Put away. Don't need this many random walls in my inventory. Sure thing, help you. Looks like I'm good to go, so I'm going to switch back to character bank 1. I could change who does the run, but I don't think that would benefit the Valentine bonus. <clears throat> I mean, I could technically bring in Humar. Technically. Let's just keep leveling this character. We leveled our other characters a tiny bit. And again, it'll be XP in like two hours or so. So we're not going to worry too much about that if we really need to get level on our other characters while still going for items. So I'm going to go ahead and make it on block two. We'll just go with whatever team is ready. So I'm going to go ahead and make it back in. Parameter just feels like watching today. No worries in Parameter.
Okay. So we'll give other people in the chat if they want to stop by. A moment or so. I'm just going to sell my mono fluid. Just to time it out a little better. But for other people that are looking to just enter ultimate or have already entered ultimate, please let me know. As in particular tomorrow, if the internet behaves, we'll be dedicating some time to helping ults. Well, potentially still going for real rares, like Photon Crystal Ignition Cloak. So that could be fun. So we might start the stream slightly <laughs> earlier on Sunday, but it really just depends on when I get done with things. That way we're more European time zone friendly. me here i'm waiting at the counter like i'm good I'm like no i'm not hold on we're playing multiplayer i gotta swap one item and then we're good i do need to bring excalibur when i'm playing multiplayer single player i actually don't <laughs> because i don't have a ton of them unlocked it's a good feeling um let's go ahead and i'll take a safety frozen shooter to give other strats for something oh damn the other character has my excalibur still have to swap that because we're having trouble last time. Uh, thought you put DF in the bank, but I guess I didn't. That's good. I I need to remake anyway, since I need my uh, I need my X cal. So take your time, help leave. I'm just gonna go get the right thing. I believe my Fomoral had it last, if I remember correctly. <clears throat> I remember her goofy saber swings. So I feel like I don't see them that often, therefore she probably still has it. Cause I was also thinking there's like three one all oh, tired from playing Doom. Well glad Doom was hopefully some fun. I know you were making some Doom comments when we were playing uh, Grand Stream earlier. Let me just uh, real quick put it away. I'm assuming it's Honor. Probably still has the red ring, because I was counting red rings. Yeah, of course she has it. Okay, so we'll put that away so I have something to do. That's also kind of the nice thing. Like, my hit percentage Excalibur is technically on my Raw Marl. Or not Romar, all my rocket seal. But Romar doesn't really need it, so I don't bother doing anything with it. <clears throat> so sorry about the delay, but we'll be getting started in a moment. So again, if there's anybody out there watching that has PSO questions, feel free to ask. I do not mind answering questions. I actually have to go potentially answer some questions on YouTube <laughs> because I haven't been checking it since I've been doing a lot of video editing. So sorry if your comments were going unanswered. I did see that there were a couple new ones right before I started streaming, but obviously if I'm streaming, I'm not going to answer on YouTube itself. I think there were comments like, um... Uh, what was the last one that I did? Yuziki. Dang. Normal. Okay, game is up. I think there were comments about what to do with limited number of photon drops. That's gonna be the topic of the next video. I think that I think that's kind of a hard thing to answer. I, I guess I can talk it out and then help Leaf could go, no dummy, you're forgetting something. So, like, generally when we're talking about what would be useful, I guess this will be practice for when we go to the formal video. Materials mag are pretty high up there. If you don't have materials and mags, you can't use most of the high-end weapons anyway. So, like, there's no point to getting an Excalibur if you don't have 800 ATP. Do you know what I mean? So, it really, it, it somewhat depends on what weapons you have waiting for you and what class you're talking about. 
if you are a ranger, I think a one one PD towards a frozen shooter is kind of sick. Otherwise, like, I feel like most characters' default answers are going to be some combination of Charge Arm, Charge Vulcan. Where Charge Arm will be your crowd clear, and Charge Vulcan will be specific bosses. Although, to be honest with you, if, with Ranger specifically, I don't find Charge Vulcan, like, that crazy useful. But then again, I have higher stats, so... I'm able to hit the minimum damage with a combo kill with other weapons. I think Cannon Rouge, if you're looking to do bosses, is higher up there in terms of pickups. I don't recommend paying for it, but technically, as long as you can get a four slaughter, it could literally be the starting frame. Most of the time, defense does not make a huge difference unless you're solo Ramar or something like that. If you're playing with a group, worst thing that happens, you just ask them to debuff since you're a new player or they'll just absolutely wombo combo everything out of existence, and it's not a big deal. Parameter briefly saying, playing Doom is very fun, but it's also very demanding my ability. Put all my focus into it while playing. Hmm. Welcome, Adrius. Hope you're doing well. If you'd like to join in, we have many free slots today. We're doing whatever chat wants for the next hour or so. Well, two hours, more accurately. Hmm. Other basic ranger items? I'm just thinking. I mean, you eventually need things like Heavenly Battle. Like, that's pretty high on priority. I just, it's just the question of what I spend PD on it. Like, I think things like Heavenly Power are really useful as you get higher in level. But if you're just starting out, I think, especially for ranger, I would probably go for things like two Heavenly Arms, maybe three. Just because uh, without high enough accuracy, you can't use the ranger guns in general. So maybe I would have to slot those units slightly higher up if you're like brand brand new. But obviously the higher level you are, the less important the arms are. Doing PoE stuff for now, but it might drop in later, no worries. You got some time, Adrius. Uh-oh, Hulk Cleave is typing. Hulk Cleave is tired of it. Yeah, like, an all-zeroed Excalibur will take you pretty far. A zeroed Frozen Shooter, for the most part, will carry you to the end of the game. You could technically get something like Spread Needle, but I'm not sure I would jump for it right away. It's, it's fun for solo. Like, again, I would say I would rate it higher if you plan on doing... Uh, TTF as, like, a cast, for example. I would rate it a little more highly. I, I guess some of it depends on what you're planning, like, long-term, what the character's gonna do. Like, I would value Frozen Shooter a lot higher if I'm doing Episode 2 or a lot of solo runs, for example, and I'm not feeling comfortable with the game. I like my Yash Minica, but I feel it's... I'm not gonna call it a luxury rare, but I, I don't know how helpful it is to, like, brand new beginner players. I haven't really assessed its own personal value. Uh, Hellcleave's gonna do the little dance there. We'll let Hellcleave do the dance. I mean, with Frozen Shooter, I could kill those slimes, for example. Yeah, like, Excal's pretty nice in general. Like, you could use it for, like, Satellite Lizards for Episode 4. Uh, Stunlocks as the... Uh, human characters with the rangers. Oh, didn't get invincibility. That's unfortunate. Did I? Oh, that sucks. <laughs> I put the Excalibur in the bank. I forgot to get the Excalibur. Whoops. At least I know where it is for later. So if I teleport back, I could go get it, but it's not worth it, I think, at this point. My bad. I realized too late what I did. Oh well, longer one, boss. <clears throat> uh, 
on the plus side, basically every piece of it is targetable right now. Thank you, Cannon Rouge. Goodbye, Worm Boss. Oh, I've been healed by Hellcleave. Nice. Hmm. See, that's the kind of thing too. Like, I'm I'm tempted to say things like cure units, but honestly, I just feel like they're better to gamble. Like, there's a lot of items you could kind of have as filler. I don't know if, I don't think they're super worth spending the PD on unless you're like really hard stuck and you somehow get like 300 400k in without getting a cure unit like unless you're in like that kind of dire straits I think it would just make sense to one k gamble kind of similarly like you only really want ranger wall just get ranger wall on your own don't spend PD on it please don't it's not that it's not that hard to do Fortunately, you don't need like a ton of armors. Like even things like stealth suit, I guess if you're looking to shortcut your time, you could technically get it. I did like Lieutenant Mail. Oh, hello. He's not expecting you. I am so dead. So I got confused early. I, I didn't realize you're bringing down the red one. Oh, I'm so dead. Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> I need you to debuff their damage, Hulk Weave. Multiplayer Ramar cannot tank this without buffs of the highest order. And I got confused early, which really sucked. Uh, now that he's gone, I get to play the game again. I'm definitely debanding or I'm gonna die. I just need them to stop attacking me for a second. There we go. There we go. Yeah, like if I'm expecting Red Sino, I'll have my Gatling out, but I was like, nah, I don't think we need anything on Green ID Red Sino. So it's like, it's something I always skip even in single player. I don't bother. Rip the Sinnoh Blues, though. Much easier now. Yeah, like, look how- he's doing, like, 30 damage after debuff. That's insane. Revive Hellcleave real quick, get invincibility, don't mind me, we're out of here. Welcome Dango, hope you're doing well. Mm, given Hellcleave has guns out, I'm assuming he's not going for the stun lock. If he had X Cow, I would have been like, yeah. That's the that's the unspoken bond. Oh, it looks like we're gonna get two monitors. Unfortunate. Yeah, don't worry about it, help leave. I can take care of him. Okay, he didn't cheat this time. That's a good sign.
Yellow ID, Hue New World. Interesting. That'll be fun for episode two later. So I'm assuming that character is going to galatine it up, if I'm remembering correctly. I think I needed both healing items. That way I got to cheat there a little. Uh, I guess I'll go for the safety frozen shooter strat. Why couldn't I revive Hulk Leave there? That was weird. I, I held the thing to moon atomizer you and it was like, nope, 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 nope. <laughs> It wanted you dead, apparently, Hellcleave. I still had eight left, so I didn't run out of them or anything crazy. And let me weed them out a little bit. Yeah, that should make life a little easier. Yeah, I definitely don't mind hosting something or joining a game for Parasitic Gene Flow. Getting a Galatine would be nice, then I don't have to unlock another Excalibur, potentially. I could give that to one of my human characters for Spirit. So I'm definitely for that before the end. <laughs> I lost half my HP, nice. I did not mean to attack there. That was really bad. There we go. It's fine. We survived. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go mental note. You put the Excalibur away. Go get the Excalibur. Then we'll be good for the next run. Hopefully things are treating you well, Dango. Hopefully PoE is also going well for you, Adrius. What happened to my... Oh, whatever. I must have been looking at the wrong timer. I thought it said I had two minutes, but maybe I was looking at help leaves. That's fine, I could shift it myself. <clears throat> Doing all right at the moment. Nice, nice. Been a crazy month in PoE. Got an insane amount of drops. Also nice. Oh, I couldn't heal because I'll cleave back blasted. I got trolled. <laughs> oh, that killed me. I was like, why am I not able to heal? Unfortunate. I did get trolled. Super, super unfortunate. Rip my skip doll. Yeah, I was just trying to quick menu. I, I could have uh, tried to recover by using my shortcut, but I was like, oh, I'll just open the menu. No menu allowed. I am so disoriented because I'm not facing the normal way that I normally face. There we go. How many skip dolls do I have left? I have one left. Okay. Now I'm going to try mate no matter what here. Ooh, that was a bit risky. If that had targeted me, I think that would have killed me. Ooh, I, I played a coin flip there. I'm pretty sure that would have killed me. Because I was below 500. Oh well, coin toss paid off, I guess. We're gonna walk forward, do a safety heal. Oops. 
I got some damage in. Get some fireballs while we're here. You're wide open. Thank you for the follow, Sonic the Phantasm. Hopefully you're doing well today. Okay. I'm glad we get another chance at a cycle, so I'm not going to complain about that. It just went right out of range of Heaven Striker. That is so sad. So this is what we like to call the bad pattern. This is what I don't... Then we got short cycled. Oh, that is... That is disgusting. That pattern was disgustingly terrible. Wow. That is maximum unlucky. Well, I have escaped off. You need to kill me. Just kill me. I want this boss fight to be over. What? We got short cycled again. Rip. <laughs> I'm, st I'm still somewhat invincible. I might as well just tank it. Who cares? Come down here and perish. Jerk. Get fireballed. Idiot. <laughs> right, Chad? Get out of my face, falls. Nonsense patterns. Yeah, you died to Ramar, Foey. Truly one of the most shameful deaths you can Im possibly imagine. So we'll do this again, but this time I'll bring the right weapon for Worm Boss for multiplayer. Hopefully you're doing well, Sonic the Phantasm. What a clown. Mm. Playing bad, rough run. It happens, Hellcleave. I was definitely uh, missing some stuff that I shouldn't have missed either. Yeah, we're getting clowned on briefly by falls with bad patterns. I would say the ring around the rosy phase actually was fine for the most part. That was just like average falls. But oof, that, that final one was super unlucky. You doing great getting ready for work? Well, I'm glad you tuned in and decided to give a follow. If you play on Affinia, let us know what kind of characters you play with. This time I'll bring the Excalibur. <laughs> I mean, at least Cannon Rouge is an okay backup, but we, we really need to bring Excalibur for Worm Boss. Let me go fix my items real quick, and then we'll start up another game. <laughs> Dark Clown. It's an interesting uh, nickname for Falls. I do feel like she, she, she slash she, I don't really know. I mean, technically it's Rico, but it's the spirit of falls. Ambiguity. But either way, Dark Falls just kind of spins around the arena and trolls. <laughs> Where they'll end up, nobody knows. The people would like to hop in, we are in block two Fodra. We're gonna get revenge for that run. So we'll give Chad a moment or so if they'd like to hop in. You play on Wii and I use Ramarl. Interesting. So you're playing the... Also beat time now? Interesting, interesting. Well, Hellcleave, if you want me to swap it up for episode 4, I'm A-OK -okay with doing Oops All Lasers. Play with your wife as well. Nice, nice. I remember after this run, sure. Okay, so we'll give chat maybe another minute and then we'll get started. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. I think I grew up with the GameCube version, so I got to uh, play a lot of four player back in the day, split screen. That's where my extended hatred of episode two comes from, since that was and just an awful, awful thing to experience in four player. Navigating those mazes with that camera. Mm -mm -mm. Not a fan. Okay. It seems like only me and Hellcleave. I don't see anybody in the chat looking to hop in. Which is A-OK. -okay. 
Yeah, we're playing on the Affinia server, and uh, people are more than welcome to join in. Chris played on the Dreamcast. You know what? I never played the Dreamcast version. I'm not sure if people like it more or less than some of the later versions. Yeah, let's just get started. And then I'll let Hellcleave dictate for episode 4. What ID should be brought in for Pew Pew Laser? Or if... Because I'm not sure if I have the right ID to host it. We'll see. I mostly just have purple. Purple and white, I think, I have for Pew Pew Laser. Or I could just bring in Fomar and not care. That is technically also a possibility to maximize the Valentine bonuses. Heal up real quick here. Charge arm here. And do red. Okay, sure thing. Yeah, we'll do normal boss mode of uh, that then. The play is the faux new world. I have been dying for a CR upgrade. A little preemptive in my shots there, but that's okay. I don't think I lost that much time. Good help leave though. Hold on a second. Are my items not in the right order for this character? I'm just double checking. That's now twice that it did it. No, it should be four. Hmm. Oh well. Also, the server on has crossplay with Dreamcast, GameCube, and Xbox. Nice, nice. Always nice to be able to do that crossplay. I've gotten really comfortable with Definia. I think at this point, I'm not really going to experiment. So once I'm done with Definia, I think it's over. I'm not going to play other versions of PSO for the most part. But perhaps after Valentine's, we'll see some stuff like Fantasy Star Zero and some of the spin-offs. Game needs a remaster. Hmm. <clears throat> it would be nice. Unfortunately, I feel like we'd be trading in a lot of the nostalgic, but also big MMO problems of the 90s for the ones of the mid-2000s, unfortunately, given how PSO2 went. I don't know why I waited there. I could have just moved on ahead. That's okay. Yeah, I was told some of the PSP ones might be interesting to play, so I'm definitely open to trying them at some point. Just to see if I like the combat a little better than base PSO or not. I don't mind it stepping up potentially a little bit in terms of what's in the combat. I just wasn't a huge fan of uh, constant dodge roll spam. It's just not what I think of when I think of PSO. Having a block button is okay. But I, I think of it as more like methodical than speed. And I think unfortunately when we take a look at what they did with some of the later games, it's just literally like more Twitch reaction gameplay than, like, anything else, which is not what I'm looking for with the game. Hello, Frozen Shooter. So I'm still going to start off with Cannon Rouge, because it is free damage. But ultimately, I'm going to swap back into Excalibur. I would just keep on the switch. Well, they're getting rid of the switch. <laughs> so <laughs> that, that would be pretty short-lived. 
They're already talking about the next generation. Unless you mean more from the standpoint of, uh, what's it called? Where you could do, like, the old and the classics that they somehow do a classics for PSO. I can revive Hellcleave there again. I'll have to check my button out. Maybe there's something wrong with my button. Almost dead. I think one more headshot, it dies. Okay. GG. Yeah, I don't know. As I said before, I, I mean, I think the people that, like, worked on this just don't belong in those companies anymore. Like, that's the sad fact. So, I have zero faith in Sega to make this kind of game again. That was the older generation. They had their chance. Technically, they sort of did it with PSO2. And then they moved on. I'm more looking, I think, at this point to see if there's, like, an indie equivalent. I'd be more interested in the indie scene in terms of what they can come up with. Where people take a game concept that is unloved by other people for many years and then they reinvent it. I would say probably the most infamous example at the moment would probably be something like Pal World being a mishmash of what people want. But in general, even when it comes to things like Sweek It In, whether it's a spin-off one of like the Lion Bear Studios for Inuit and Chronicles, or things of that nature. Hopefully we could get some better combinations of things. Although sad news though, the person that did work on Suikoden did die recently. So we'll be playing Inuit and Chronicles, which sadly he did not get to see release. So rip. Just happened to see that news the other day. So it's like, sometimes we gotta be careful, or else we'll end up with like the Mighty Number no. 9 situation where the wrong people are accredited to why the game is good. So it could definitely go both ways with it. But we have to be somewhat optimistic, because we've seen some really crazy games from quote-unquote the not AAA studios. And honestly, if I look at like the last stuff that I purchased, oh, I got confused over like the last couple of years. Most of it has just been from not what I would consider AAA Studios, to be honest. Like the time of Square slash Square Enix slash Enix for me is over. You won't see me getting a lot of things from, definitely not from Activision. You won't see me getting things. Well, Volition went under, but I wouldn't get stuff from Volition either, to be honest. But yeah, just kind of sad. Like most of the big studios got bought out and then they got kicked off the project. Like I would say in game news, people looking for another Deus Ex are going to be ultra disappointed. Oh, that time I revived Hellcleave, whatever. Game is just being fickle with me. Well, thank you for stopping by Sonic the Phantasm, and uh, hopefully you have good luck with work. Yeah, just kind of like an interesting mention. I mean, I, I seriously did look through, and I'm like... Uh, I would say from what I would have considered AAA, like maybe I'll get something from Atlas every rare once in a while. People will give me maybe something related to Namco, like the Tales series every rare once in a while but a lot of the more popular titles I just don't play like the last thing I got from quote unquote Nintendo in general slash square would have been uh, the Mana collection which wasn't even a recent purchase that would have been like 2022 2021 I didn't get it this year or last year I'll put it that way And even then, that was purely for streaming purposes versus, like, new products.
Aerial Armor 4 slot. Nah, that's fine. We don't need that. A little pause trick. Check the soundtrack since I think the soundtrack, al soundtrack also did a little pause trick. Rip how clean. I don't know what it is. It really just will not let me target you. Got a Monkey King bar. Nice. I unfortunately did click out briefly because I wanted to see why it paused. Please continue. Aw, uh, zero hit. That's unfortunate. Okay. Back to our regularly scheduled walk through the park. Yeah, I just don't think there will ever be for me another game that is quite like PSO. I don't think I'm willing to learn a lot of new mechanics for other games. I just don't care, and I don't have time to really grind it out. I mean, PSO at this point was, like, mostly in college years. That's where a lot of my character... Oh, the sorcerer didn't die. Was where I played. I played a lot less once I started streaming for the obvious reasons that I'm playing other games. So, like, if I were to start PSO now... I would, I would not get anywhere near as far compared to them. So for me, it's still somewhat a holiday kind of game. Like maybe, maybe I'll pick it up every holiday, but I'm not willing to like grind it out. I've done everything I really wanted aside from maybe challenge mode. I think at this point. Let's avoid those enemies. Heal up help cleave a little bit. <laughs> I was just thinking the other day with what is it? Skull and crossbones. I'm sure that'll date the video. That'll be fun. Where uh, the company was calling it a quadruple A game. And then you see some of the gameplay of it and you look at what's actually included. I'm like, yeah. Uh, hmm. Interesting claim. Yeah, very interesting claim. Big yikes. I mean, it's crazy to me. Like, what would be, like, the standard of, you know, this is allegedly their quadruple A game. I mean, just compare it to, like, other games that already exist. Like, being able to do swashbuckling and stuff like that in a game like Sea of Thieves, for example, compared to the you could barely do anything and everything's a timing mini game of Skull and Crossbones. Welcome, Charlie. Hope you're doing well. Objection? Soon, maybe about in an hour and a half, we're going to be objecting all over the place. Hopefully you're doing well, Charlie. Just got off a 12-hour shift. Oof. I did see that uh, Chris Grimm was playing Lament of Innocence. Hellcleave is a little far for me. Looks like I gotta revive Hellcleave, though. We're going for Hellcleave. What? Why? What is going- Why can I not revive you? That's crazy. Did you hear it? It was saying no. There's something wrong with one of my buttons. I want to check it out in a moment. I had to use the keyboard there for clarity. Weird. Like, my heals work. It just apparently my revives don't for some reason. Objection, we only object to the courtroom. Hmm. Uh oh. No! Random mag blast. I'm so dead, I think. I'm gonna I'm gonna mash the keyboard heal. Mashing keyboard heal. Oh, okay, I didn't die. Oh, it's like I thought for sure I was gonna die, because I was dead center on that boss. Let's move over there. Wanted to stop it and say hey, no worries.
Oh, that is so awkward to try to do that with the keyboard while playing. Get a diamond in here. I wonder if something got reset on my controls or something. It's very weird that suddenly I just can't moon atomizer at all. And I haven't played a force recently to test it. It's possible something got reset. Let me check it out. Uh, something did get reset. Okay. That should fix it going forward. Oh, okay. control issue. Ooh, I was out of range. I should have walked forward. Whew. Short cycle, brutal. Oh, I got invincibility though. Look forward to that. And I could get free strikes here without provoking the boss. I have to say, I'm getting kind of unlucky with these special hits. They have not been landing cons consistently. There we go. Much better. Oh, I still had invincibility? That was sick. Yeah, there we go. I figured two quick specials before it linked with Hellcleave would do it. And basically did. Hellcleave finished it off. That time we got better rolls on our special to hit. potentially some emotes to use on the future just now very simple ones I probably should have done them before I started playing Phoenix right but I just thought of what to do oh well inspiration hit late but at least it came eventually take the money Yeah, for some reason my uh, number 4 was mapped to R3 and not my left stick, so something did get messed up there. That was not a button I would ever hit unintentionally at that point. I was wondering why it was telling me that it was uh, not able to do it. So, fix that. Then we should be good for the next boss. <laughs> yeah, exactly. How can we know where my, my mind went? I'm like, wait a minute. I should just make that an emote. We'll, we'll do it for the next part of, at least the final part of Phoenix Ride. We still have more Phoenix Ride games to play. But I'm sure chat would love spamming objection and hold it in the chat. And then they can make the existing characters say those phrases from our emote collection. Sometimes simple is best. Hopefully it just doesn't look too small. That's my only worry is that it looks too small. Okay. So I'm gonna switch over to... I guess I could just leave the Excalibur on him to be honest. He's the only character that actively uses the Excalibur, unless I'm playing Fomar or something. So let's switch over to Faux New World, who's Red ID. I believe that is C Bank 4. Let's do some episode 4. Mix it up a little. One day I'll put a red ring on this character, more as a joke than a serious action. 
Okay. Oh, I see Tiggy in the lobby. So I'll go ahead and make an episode four game. Double NF Centurion Vieta One. Oh, Tiggy's here. Reporting for duty. <laughs> it's laser o'clock. So yeah, we still got quite a bit of even beat left. So enjoy the pew pew lasers. I'm just gonna get one thing to make my life a little earlier. DP Brigade, there we go. I like that a little better. Get my Gafoe merge, take Rebarda. Yeah, that should cover me for the boss. And I already got Ice Staff, perfect. I need to think it all. Chat will carry me the rest of the way. So if chat wants the freest of experience, you have a moment or so to join in block two. Since two pew pew lasers plus force means autopilot, you can literally do whatever. I think with all this AoE damage, everything will die. Come on, Cannon Rouge. 138% rare chance, nice. Nice, nice, nice. I mean, I could shift to the group, I guess, but I feel like it's all pew pew laser. them down a little bit for the group. Let's watch a Gafoe maybe for this. I'm always torn. I guess I should flip flop between them. Shouldn't just leave it static. Off for sure. Who's out of range? Goodbye. Gladly take that extra escape doll. Might need it later. My goal is to basically face tank for the group, which is funny given my character, but it's so true. Yeah, that was well executed. I guess instead of Rebarda there, it would have been better to uh, Gafoe. Oh well. Go towards the zoos, I guess. Make sure they get stun locked a little better. And it'll be Astark into Dorfong. That'll make them hesitate for a moment. Ooh, out of range. Ooh, Tina is kind of split apart for me. That's unfortunate. On the plus side, my healing range is insane. So if I start tanking hits, it doesn't matter. Let's see, Rappies. I guess I could switch back to Kafoe Merge to set up for more after that. Buff them, or I'm gonna get absolutely exploded. Oh, rip round these. I 
Actually, you know what? Shouldn't have changed it, because I know there's going to be lizards. <clears throat> I'll just swap back. Pretty much the next few waves are just all lizards anyway. Just some minor interruptions in between. I see easy freeze. See, this is Cannon Rouge Alley. Let's see if we get a Cannon Rouge. I doubt if I see one, it'll have hit percentage. I'd be very excited if it was, though. Again, we have so many stacks of Gafoe out there, we basically shut down the wave completely. Ooh, I didn't realize I was injured. <laughs> My bad. Fortunately, I had a skip doll, nothing else. Rip escape doll, you did come in handy. I will take that mono grinder actually. Help leave with the hell side. Hopefully was craving for them to get closer. Hmm. Buddha was after this, my bad. For some reason, I thought it was regular Buddha. Oh, this is the wave I thought it was. Could buy that zoo in the corner. You're so done. <clears throat> Ouch. Getting knocked down there kind of sucks. That's fine. Up for the next wave. Let's try to crowd control more than damage here. It's good, Brave Man. Oh yeah, that's right, Red ID. <clears throat> okay, so let's all group up near Hellcleave. I'll just debuff him a little bit. I think that was fun. Rest of level 20, interesting. Heavenly Battle? Ooh. Actually, it's a good pickup for me later. I'm sure there are new players that need it. the rest of was it here no <laughs> i'm looking for this rest of for new players where is it there it is goodbye disco brain man i don't need you just make a charm in gafoe merge territory we're gonna debuff debuff i'm just gonna stack gafoe basically the whole time off by one damage. Mm. That means if I level a bit more and my spell damage caps, that would actually have made a difference there. I just need to do literally one more damage on a spell and I'm not max damage. But that's some satellite lizard of deterrence, aka the Gifoes. Debuff, debuff, just to make it easier for the team. Head out of Rabarda, get ready for the stupid Marissa's for this wave. I mean, Fireball still hurts the zoos a lot, but I can speed this up slightly. There we go, big damage. 
I don't care if he belly flops me. Chat will clean this up, I think. That was pretty solid. It's poor Raffies, though. Yeah, they're gonna run. Double hit by Laser. Unfortunate. Oh, that Raffy wants me. Get off of me. <laughs> I'm being bullied. <laughs> At level 29. I don't even feel like picking it up. What a terrible technique. Kill the Marissa, debuff Gertabulu, and already dead. Nice Diska. You know what? The Gabard is right there. I might as well just pick it up. I still got free slots. That's gonna be one of the first things I dump when I'm out of room. Nice Cannon Rouge. Some debuffs going. And I guess after this I can set up on the Marissa's. I'll do this even though it doesn't affect the Goron Detonator, as I believe in chat. I need to make sure these Marissas get stacked on, like, no, no doubts. Love how much damage I take, damn, I need so much more defense. Definitely rough being the faux new world in multiplayer. You get bullied so hard. Goodbye, all those rappies. Goodbye, the zoo. Should take care of the room. Pick up the Tri Grinder, Soul Animizer, the Cascafoe. Uh, oh, materials. Bye, Gabarda. I don't care about you. Help the group out a little here. That's how I would like the opportunity to stack some Gafoe on the zoo, please. Thank you. Wait, it just slows them down. Back to Gafoe stacking. Some damage to the power of Goron. It would have worth it. There we go. Big damage time. Let's refoe a bit here. Speed it up. I got some of them at least. Regular Foey, since there's only one. That rare opportunity where you can actually do that. Oh, debuff did not come out fast enough before I got hit by laser. But on the plus side, I'm being targeted, so that means that the chat is fine. Also, I have Mag Blast for people that need it in the uh, boss fight itself. I'm gonna debuff everything here so that we chat has a nice little lovely time. Get some stuns on the boss. <laughs> the room. Fine. I need 
die fluid. Oh, what that escaped all so bad. Um, actually, you know what? I'm actually capped. I guess I could get rid of Striker of Chow. I don't really need it in this quest, just so I can hold one more item. So far, the group is mostly close to me, so it hasn't mattered. Even right now, I don't need it. And I could be a bit more preemptive with Glide Divine. Why am I taking like a thousand damage? Again, please. For my iframes. I wanted to sack the Foe, but I was losing 90% of my health every second. That was unfortunate. Yeah, that's the downside. Single player, that wouldn't happen for the most part due to the enhanced iframes. Speaking of a little back to Kafoe time. Nice. Half the HP of the Marissas. So that'll make life way easier. GG. Yeah, see, if they don't position well against me, they just kind of die instantly. That's what I want to see. Set up for the next wave. Nice. Free damage. Slow them down, because team's gonna kill them anyway. But as well as Kafoe. Yeah. Slapped in the face. Lone Gardabulu, Riff Gardabulu. That that was an aggressive demoning. <laughs> that that poor that poor Gardabulu <laughs> just stood no chance. Let's see. I'm gonna assume fire. Maybe I'll switch to Rafoe with Fire Scepter. We'll see. Okay. Something other than yellow. Oh, I already killed it. Good job, Chan. Do some chain lightings. Honestly, I don't really know who should go in a three man group. I mean, I heal, but PP Blaze are way better than what I do. Switch to Ice Staff plus Rebarda. I'm still gonna focus predominantly on healing though. One pew and force is good. Yeah, I might be able to catch it if it desyncs with the grants, but hopefully I don't need to do that. I'm gonna try to body block for Hellcleave. Oh, Hellcleave stopped moving slightly before me. Unfortunate. Oh, I thought Hulkleaf was going to get in front. That's fine. I'll, blo I'll body block that missile. And this missile. There we go. Come to me, missiles. I mean, I could mag blast. So that wouldn't be the worst thing ever. I'll wait till we wound it a bit more. The spinners are the worst. Yeah, it got pretty desynced. <clears throat> I'm gonna go for it to try to fix this. Because I'm hoping it does at least 1,500, because then I can at least grant to kill the other part. So we're just gonna call this the great fix. Oh, it's at 3k? Oh yeah, that's right, we have the triple donate. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> There we go. So on the plus side, I always have mag blast. I wasn't sure since my uh, what's it called? My synchro wasn't max, but it was good enough. GG. Yeah, this character potentially leveling is huge. 
I need 262,000 experience. So we got 163 before the boss. What are we getting after the boss? Two hundred twelve, not bad. <laughs> so I'll be slightly shy of leveling again. That is so sad. Oh well, we'll take at least two runs. So we'll keep going. Now put away my striker of Chow since it's not really needed. away the heavenly battle. I'll keep the grinders in my inventory to make sure I can pick them up since I would like more if I'm going to do challenge mode at some point since I'll need a lot if I'm getting at least three weapons. This away, put that away, striker away. There, now I have more than enough room for what I need to do. Back to Fire Scepter plus. Escafoe? Ah, uh, Luduberfoe first. Okay. More. Next game is up for people looking to join. I'm good item wise. I didn't check my fluids, but I'm assuming at like nine. Nine's more than good enough to do another one. Okay, I don't see anybody in the chat saying they're looking to hop in. I'll just continue. But again, please let me know, Chad, if you're listening in and you're just getting into ultimate or looking to get to ultimate and you need some help with techniques, please let me know. I do not mind pausing what we're doing briefly to give some items. So far, I think the stream has behaved itself. So it's been a good sign. So I, I froze the problem on that one. It's gonna spam some Gafoe here. I'm going right back to Rafoe. Nicely done, by Chan. We got everything there. I mean, I, I guess I'll buff the chat. I mean, I, I should at least deband, I guess. I mean, Pew Pew Laser does not usually warrant a lot of other stats. Oh, is that a range of the Kassan briefly? It's unfortunate. Debuff time for sure. Stack some Gafoe's more for the satellite lizards. And punish with Gafoe. And stack another Gafoe while we're waiting. I deserve that laser in the back. Sure, we debuff as much as we can. Maybe get a couple freezes if we're lucky. Oh, but the Astark was dead already. Oops, that was a preemptive Kafoe. That is gonna suck, I think. Unfortunate. You're dead. 
Time to heal the group. Hmm. I did leave a die grinder behind, but I don't think it's worth going back for. If we happen to pick up at least two or three grinders a run, I think I'm happy. I'm gonna freeze them so they attack less. Ooh, got the instant freeze, nice. Although that seems to cause an issue with the laser. Never mind, that is nice. <laughs> Gotta remember, multiplayer versus single player. I have to remember that uh, you can make the S Stark untargetable sometimes. So as fun as that is to do in single player, which is really fun because they never get a turn. Uh, if they can't shoot with PP laser, it's not worth it. So we'll time it. We'll wait for them to react to the first damage and then we'll try to stun. Okay, I do have it on Gafoe still. Good, good, good. Oh, I got knocked down. That's awkward. Hopefully this will stall them with the Gafoe. Stall them a little bit. I'm gonna believe in chat on this one. I said just aggressively Gafoe them. I was gonna say, I don't know where the others are, so I'm just gonna Gafoe. When in doubt, more Gafoe is the solution. There we go. Heal Hulk Leave as a safety precaution. Another Heavenly Battle. Wow. Okay. Listen, there are a lot of potential new players that will benefit from this. I'm trying to think, were there other... So, we got sidetracked a while ago. So, recap what you should do with early PDs as a ranger. We talked about materials, mags, charge arm, charge vulcan, frozen shooter. Um, you need to have heavenly arms to wear them, so potentially up to three. I think adept is more of a luxury rare, and I wouldn't recommend it. There's some characters I would, but I don't think for ranger I would necessarily. Um, I guess if you're a male, uh, investing into a dress plate potentially is useful with four slots. Lieutenant Mantle is also somewhat useful as an ult after you're done with your major weapons. But honestly, those are things that you get kind of down the line. If you happen to get C1 Chief, then I guess you can grab it. But I'm not willing to say like, oh, throw three PDs to get a single armor. Like, you're not going to get as much benefit from that. Yeah. It really just depends on what character you are. Like, I love Dressplate on uh, Rockcast, for example, or if you're going for, like, real simple defense, honestly, for single-player play, I thought Gracia was, like, 10 out of 10, to be honest with you. Yeah, Romar, it's good. But obviously, you should be farming your own Ranger Wall. But honestly, there's not really too much else. The rest of it is just kind of good stuff. And honestly, materials, mags, and whatever are definitely pretty expensive. Oops, I think I'm not close enough. Thank you, Hulk, for the call out. I deserve to be stomped there. I wasn't sure which one was alive, and I guessed incorrectly. Oh well. Need to look for my arrest needle. 
Yeah, those are the kinds of things, like, even though they're really good, like, that, when, with the proper comment of you need 11 or so PDs, like, you're not gonna be able to afford, like, the virus armors. Even though the challenge mode weapons are insanely good. Uh, potentially, especially on Ramar. Friend Needle's probably good enough to cover a lot of those gaps. I'm trying to think if there- oh, Stack Cutlery. I'm trying to think if there's any other niche items. Like, we mentioned Heavenly Powers eventually as you get higher level, but that's not like a rush. Like, essentially you want to wean off of Heavenly Arm and put on as much ATP as possible. Um, I guess some people forget about it, but I guess if you're playing Ramar specifically, um, it could be worth investing some uh, PDs into techs and maybe a mind mag if you're not going to raise your own mind mag. Like, Ramar and Ramarl having level 15, level 20 shifty d ban is pretty good. Exactly. Like, basically, you just want to focus on damage, and sometimes you'll have, like, little filler items as you go forward. Like, if you can't afford the Heavenly Powers, um, and you happen to be gambling, sometimes you'll end up with uh, God Abilities or whatever to help max your luck a bit more. Those are okay. Sometimes you'll actually end up using them for the accuracy once you get to a certain level, which is always funny. But honestly, after that, a lot of it is just kind of, like, support stuff. I can't really think of anything else offhand that I'm forgetting, because we already mentioned Cannon Rouge. Um... I guess once you start getting much stronger, I guess a Heaven Striker of some sort would be good. Because, like, you need it for certain bosses, and eventually you need to roll it with high hit. So it's not worth, like, dumping a ton of PDs into early. Just the intent is that you should have a character that will potentially farm them. Yeah, exactly. Cheap Heaven Striker is good enough. I was just trying to think of, like, any other outside the box. Like, I like Last Swan, for example, on the Rangers, but I'm not going to recommend you just throw PDs out for that. As, as much as I love that gun, I don't know if it's worth the uh, 7-8. Honestly, I happen to luck into it with Photon Crystal while going for something else. So that's why I have so many, because that wasn't the thing I was going for, but I got it anyway. Hmm. Yeah, because they don't really use a lot of, like, alternate weapons, to be honest. I guess if you're do I guess once you're- okay, so let let's say you got all of those basics, where would you go from there? I guess this is where you start thinking about, like, whether or not you want your character to start really pushing, like, high-end content. So let's say let's say you've now gotten to, like, 110, 120, and you're, like, somewhat decently geared and you have a free slot. I guess at that point, you start looking into things like your V5 units. Uh, actually, slightly before that, you go for your demons, if you're a human ranger. Otherwise, you have some paralysis from Spread Needle from earlier. That'll cover you for some of the things that you need. Frozen Shooter will cover you with the other basis. If all you're looking to do is stick to, like, not Episode 2, I would say probably V501 is good enough. It's V502 is more just to make sure that you are... If you're looking to use Hell, and you're looking to do a lot of those kinds of box runs, then it's worth the investment kind of deal. But I would not rate those as highly unless you're explicitly planning to do episode two. Like a V501 will do everything you needed to do in every other episode. Where is... You know what, I really don't need 10 die mates on this character. I'm gonna read what Healthy said one second. Units are pretty big and easy to upgrade. Yeah, the nice thing about units too is that they're interchangeable, so it's not like they're one and done and it's just like it's locked in forever. Like the worst that happens is you now have gear for your other characters. And the nice thing about that too is it's not level specific. So, you know, if you get a V101 later through grinding. Uh, over the heavenly battle, then you just have it, and you could technically use it on new characters. 
I think that's the big thing. My big takeaway when, when I make those recommendations is just because the, the number of the unit is higher does not mean that it's a good purchase choice for you. Unless it is, like, much later in the game. Like, imagine spending, like, 15 to 18 PD on, like, you know, V502, but you don't even have, like, the right weapon or the stats to use the, the weapon itself. So it's like, I just want to draw attention to that. Yeah, Demon. Demons is super good. Honestly, if you're playing a Ranger as well, I, I, I'm, I'm going to hype it up. Even though you could go for like a Demon Laser or whatever, or if you want to do a Demon Ray Gun, if you're planning to split it between a couple of different classes. Uh, honestly, Slicer Fanatic zeroed on Ramar. Disgusting. Just absolutely disgusting. So yeah, I have to just kind of sit there and stare at the item sheet, I think, when I go to do the video. Like, I have all the rares that are interesting in Ultimate, but then I want to just make sure when we talk about the prices we go through and stuff like that. Because that's where I'm definitely a bit looser with it, and I think me staring specifically at the... Uh, I think it's called the price guide would be useful. I make so little purchases that it's like, I, I just don't have a lot of them in my head, sadly. I just know that that is probably the right priority order. I'll definitely check to see because I think other people on Discord in the server have brought it up before in like in a more lengthy discussion. So I might see if some of those conversations are there and mention them in the video if I happen to find them. But yeah, for people looking to, to rise out of ultimate, I think that covers a lot of it. And I just have to, have to kind of think about it from there. But sadly, there's only like a handful of like truly overpowered items. Once you get them, then it's like sometimes you don't even need to level them up, especially if you're Ramar, you're like, I don't need hit percentage. But yeah. Some of them are very picky and very precise. Like getting a really good LNK or like getting really good vices in certain characters. Where the hit percentage is absolutely required and worth it. But I think that covers my discussion. If I think of anything else, I'll try to write it in the YouTube comment wherever somebody asks me that question. Started doing P1 hunts. That's fair. Oh, the sunlock. True. At least with P1 hunts with that style, you get to say, hey, I get vice chances. Meanwhile, me and, and Christmas Fiasco, I'm like, no. <laughs> the one room resets, there's so many of them. Can't deal with it. The insanity. Okay, I'm gonna go more to the side. Hopefully we see a rare boss, but probably unlikely. Actually, we haven't seen a rare enemy today so far. No rare Rappies, no rare Zoos, no rare Dwarfons. No rare Boss. Apparently, they're all sleeping today. Ooh, there's the red ID one that I'm looking for. Oh, I just hit it for a thousand. Chat got a decent one, I think. Needless to say, because I'm playing Phone to Whirl, of course I have Mag Blast. <laughs> Just, it, if you had any doubts, chat, I have it. Don't worry. I haven't commented on it. I've had it for an eternity. This character builds so much meter because her defense is so terrible. <laughs> it's so bad. Anyway, back to Ice Staff and Rabarda for more damage. I'll wait a little bit to sync up with Hell Cleave. There we go. Nice. Dodge in the tornado. Dodge the spinners. You want help, Lee? Let's 
scary there. Music stopping. Okay, so once it gets a little lower, I'll go for it. Plus, this will give Hulk leave an opportunity to build meter in case he's not close. Although, this is pretty good. Oh, if I didn't get knocked down, I would have gone for the kill there. Stupid spinners. I'll weaken them up slightly here, so that way Hulk leave could probably dunk them real quick. I'm gonna wait. <sighs> it's going for this again. Uh, if he does that again, I might just worm him at this point since he's wasting our time. Oh, he might not have reset properly there. I should have waited slightly longer. I did delay it a little bit. I'm not sure if this will hit. He did move forward a bit. It did hit him. But only two of them were targetable. That's unfortunate. My bad. <clears throat> yeah, I needed to wait like maybe half a second longer and that would have counted. Unfortunate. I'll stay in here in case he comes back here. Oh no, we got both of them. Never mind. Disregard. Oh well. Just have a brief lasering. Yeah, it's unfortunate when he gets in his, like, constant laser spam because players are close. Unfortunate when that occurs. I did level. I guess we killed more Rappies this time. Thank you, Count Visham. We're almost ready for uh, Phoenix, if you're looking forward to that in a bit. Got a couple runs left in us still. I will gladly take that uh, 6k, though, from the boss. So what's the new forecast, according to the game? I thought it said luck changed. Did I hallucinate that earlier when it was 7 o'clock? Oh well, maybe I hallucinated. Anyway, let's put these two here. Into the bank. Switched over to XP. I'm on grinding it out. <laughs> this character needs levels anyway. Rip rare item week. So we'll go for at least two more runs. And then if chat wants to end with a... Uh... Parasitic gene flow run or something. Could be a way to tie things up neatly. This quest is worth like a bajillion experience, so I definitely don't care. It's like, oh no, everybody in the current team is gonna get closer to Red Ring. Ooh. <laughs> Although, you know what? It you do make me want to make another raw moral where I'm gonna pick that that color outfit just just for the group. Maybe that'll be my final character. <laughs> Chat'll have to make her though. We'll go into one of oh I didn't mean to Kapoe. Autopiloting. Oh well, rip rap base. I'm just thinking about what good IDs there would be. I I already have purple. I have white ID. Would I do like green ID to round things out? She'd also be able to TT up with that. And I'd still go for things like Heaven Striker. 
And I would not mind getting Galatine with her, potentially. Because I'm not sure if I really want to do pod runs. I mean... Because otherwise it would just be, like, what, orange pod? Or something like that. Maybe yellow pod. I already have a yellow ranger, though. I don't mind having another green ranger, though. I think green's a pretty strong ID in general. Plus, I think green ID also is decent episode, too. Not that I would, like, farm it over some of the other ones, but... would open it up. Unless I wanted a blue ranger. But then I wouldn't really be doing episode 4, I think, with blue. Those are the, the great questions I ha ask myself. Because I would, I would like a ranger for episode 2, potentially. Because I actually don't have a blue ID ranger, I don't think. But then I won't be able to pew pew. Or if I did, somebody else would have to make. Hmm. Asking myself the tough questions. Because I don't think there's anything I'd hunt in blue ID currently for episode 4. Unless I really just wanted to do, like, limiter run surface. Because that's usually what I think of with blue ID. Unless I'm forgetting something. I'm sure chat will correct me if I'm forgetting something obvious. Like, forgetting to switch my merge, for example. Rip our merge. Okay, so I'm gonna go to where the group is currently. Okay, delayed it as much as possible there. Just to hopefully catch them, and then it looks like it did. Oh, I didn't realize the other one charged. Because <laughs> they were Bowie twice, and I'm like, GG. It was like, no, it was not GG. It was far from over. Hmm. Yeah, that actually makes me really question it. Do I want a blue ID run just specifically for episode 2? Maybe. Yeah, that that's the downside. Because I, I could do white ID limiter runs for pod. I have purple heaven striker. I could do orange whenever I want. With force. So that's covered. If I really want to go for daylight scar mixes. Which is not bad. Solo forest easier? Hmm. That's actually a good point. Maybe. Yeah, I was more thinking Del Beater and just general, like I would I would be more happy to do the parasitic gene flow with blue ID. Though also happy to do it with Hugh New World, of course. So yeah, we'll do at least two more of these, and then uh, we'll do maybe a Parasite Gene Flow run. But sadly, doesn't look like any Cannon Rouges today so far. We've got a couple more runs left to go, but maybe. I'll switch over to Magical Piece, because I know I'm going to be Kafoe spamming a lot here. As well as do slightly more damage. <laughs> the Grant's Bowie combo. Goodbye. Let them get nice and close. Freeze. Mamba Boos, this is your last major chance to give us something interesting. Rip. Slow them down with a few Gafoes. Also hurt the zoo slightly.
Blood Thunder, nice. Oh, I tried freezing the Astark there, but not getting the frame zero. Well, I guess Skip always slowed them down enough. I guess that was okay. Alright, that should cover the team easy. Stock up for the next wave. Ooh, that was a massive amount of damage. Okay, time to move. Walking over to Hellcleave. Hellcleave basically whistles at me. Delayed the Gafoe a little more that time, because that should catch them a little better. I think that did. I mean, I could be using Mercurius Rod, technically. I wasn't sure which one was real, so I just Gafoe. To be honest with you, but I'm not sure. I'm like, you know what? We, we got a target with Rafoe. Just let's not do that. Take a tri fluid. On a grinder. Drop that weapon. It is booty. Uh oh, I'm actually not capped on tri fluids. I miscounted. There we go. <clears throat> Master Disco Rip. What soundtrack is this? This is, I believe, Sonic Rivals 2, still. Yes. Mystic Haunt Zone Act 3. Yeah, we were trying to do some of the racing game soundtracks, and two of the games apparently just don't exist on YouTube, or at least they didn't pop up in the first 20. So rip those soundtracks, I guess. So we jump straight to Sonic Rivals. Ooh, nice. Two tri fluids in one room is super sick. I'm just going to start setting up for the next wave. This should be massive damage. Yeah, I basically half their HP and rising. I'm gonna move towards the Rappy so they don't run, because that way I could get XP. There we go. That worked. Ooh, I'm still stacking Gafoe. Unlucky for you, Satellite Lizards. Goodbye. Oh, well, yeah, none of us really got a Photon Crystal. Huh. Yeah, that was kind of a disappointing episode for Vera in week, I'm not gonna lie. Like, wow, we didn't even get, like, backup rares. We got, like, a Disco of Brave Man in three whole runs of this? That's not good. Maybe people were ignoring them as they draw. Should be fair, if it's all zeroed, I'll blame you. Yeah, I just threw away my Dimates since... The minor amount of healing does not really work well with this character. I must have just been collecting them gradually over time. So what I'm gonna do here is briefly buff the team. I'm gonna move sideways to dodge the quadra hit, which will kill me. These guys are so rude. I'm gonna set up for the next wave. Chat's got this. Ooh, big damage. Oh, down to 1300. Oh, they don't even need to swap weapons to kill the Marissa. That's how efficient that was. Sick. Nice damage on satellite lizards. Debuff the whole group. Chat could just wail on them and do whatever. I like this song a little more than the other ones we're listening to. I wasn't feeling some of the other ones. They kind of came off as like screechy. I like the mood this one sets.
Oh, I'm stacking so much good Bowie. You're so done. You're so done, Rappies. <laughs> Holy, the stack was real. Oh yeah, that reminds me, I leveled, so that means I probably do enough damage to not leave them at 1 HP anymore. So we are saving time by doing that. That Kuritabulu is so done. I didn't even bother looking at him, GG. Let's see, this song is specifically called... Tension. Makes sense. Let's say that checks out. Goodbye, Yowies. Thanks, Spire. Still got a lot of even B time left, but I don't plan on going to the end of even B. Since I'd like Phoenix Wright to end in a reasonable amount of time. <clears throat> Although we will be taking a short break before our next game. Because I would like food. <laughs> I am hungry. So I'll probably just reheat something, because I made some, uh... I usually cook for two, and then I put leftovers in one of the containers that I got. So I made some lunch after the previous stream. So I'm just gonna have the other half of it. Although sometimes, because I don't like eating the same thing twice, I might have a, another lunch, and I'll make a, another lunch on top of that. I have two choices when I get to the fridge. If I look to reheat. Yeah, it's kind of nice. Made some uh, chicken with brie. And I added uh, apples to it. Which came out surprisingly well. So I do not mind having that at all again. Thought about if I wanted cranberries instead, because I could see it's like you can stuff potentially the chicken with different things. Oh, we got another disca. Not that I wanted, it's got zero hit. Oh, if that Kafoe kills him, that'd be too funny. Pick up a dime by accident, we'll just consume it. Another escape doll, don't need these. They hit me out of the debuff. That's scary. Stop that. Bad enemies. Back to Gafoe stacking. Team has this. That way I can at least get three sets of Gafoe out. Back to Gafoe stacking for next wave to slow them down mostly. Scare the Rappies. Nice, got some stacks up from Marissa. Better than nothing. Yeah, these enemies hop a little too much for me to want to Rafoe them. Unless I'm playing single player. They're just... They're not random, but it's chaotic enough that I really don't want to be tracking like seven of them, what they're doing relative to other players. No thank you. These guys I could arguably Rafoe, but I'm setting up also for next wave to slow them down. to Bulu. <laughs> demon, demon, gone. Uh, I'll drop this game though, I don't need this. I'd rather the power material. Wait a minute, Live and Learn drop somewhere? Where's Live and Learn? I think it's right there. Um... Give up Escape Doll for Live and Learn. Eventually, we'll listen to the in-game music, so we'll, we'll capture those for later. It's very important. <laughs> we get live and learn. Get a die grinder wrong here. Buff. Buff. Heal. 
Fire Scepter. There we go. Switch this over to Rafoe in case I need to hit around a target. I prefer to use Foe, but we'll see what happens here. Because I think I can basically three shot it with Foe. Rafoe is more like if I tag it twice and something blocks, I'll hit Rafoe. Oops, speaking of which. Once, twice, three times. Easy red switch. That's what I was hoping for. So regular Foley is still useful. Oh, we somehow heard St. Million during that. Wait a minute. We popped his crystals, but then he took damage again? Interesting. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, I guess I should probably use Dolphin a bit earlier. I might just go for Greedy Dolphin, honestly. I think I'm going to greet the dolphin. I'm just going to walk straight at him. See what he does. The greedy dolphin is approaching. See if he punishes me. He actually didn't get wrecked. He didn't wind back, but he is doing an attack. I did get a little closer. So even if he reels slightly, it should still hit him. Yeah, that did big damage. Oh, that was completely worth it. He even missed me with a uh, tornado. That could not have gone better. <laughs> like, he legit missed me with tornado. Oh, how could we have desynced him? Uh, we, we could probably recover from this, but not during the spinners. Spinners are too deadly. Once we rise up, I think how could can finish. I'm not going to hit him. <sighs> I keep getting hit by spinners. I might have saved it, I'm not sure. We'll see. He might just immediately laser spam, which is fine. Yeah, we'll we'll give him some time. Anyway, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go to where he should go. I'm gonna ignore him. Yeah, he can hit me if he wants. He can do his little pouty laser. I don't really care. So we shouldn't need to hit him. We just need to let him do his little temper tantrum. Since he was already at 2552. That is the downside. If he does get desynced, even with Grants, sometimes it doesn't save it. And shooting it, sadly, also doesn't do anything. We just gotta wait until the game checks to see if he's dead. Rip. At least I got Barda here. That is a lot of XP. Already 249,000. Three hundred forty thousand, nice. I will saw them. Hmm. That lid looks like nothing of interest dropped. Okay, so let's put away some of the items we just picked up. Then we'll make at least one more game. Yeah, this, this character leveling is definitely huge, because A, they're not at max damage, B, they're not at max defense, C, this character needs it. Hmm, so I picked up one photon drop that entire time, that's a bit sad. Got a couple more grinders, I did leave quite a few behind, but I think overall it's going okay. Again, if I only average collecting like 7 or 8 total grinders across the session, I think I'm still happy with that. There's only a couple weapons I need to fix currently, so I'm not in a rush. Okay, got everything I needed there. Let's make one more game. Then we'll do uh, Parasage Gene Flow. And yeah, my Hugh New World definitely needs some experience. So this will be basically almost final call for chat. So let us know if you want to hop in. Otherwise, we are going to power through and end the PSO session. 
in a little bit. So sadly, it looks like we are going Cannon Rougeless. <laughs> Rip. Oh well, maybe one day. Alcleave needs a moment, sure thing. Question though. Go ahead and start, sure. I was looking at how much time I had left on the soundtrack. Okay, we have enough to maybe clear this and then I gotta switch in between. Magical piece. Uh, go back to Fire Scepter here. Don't have to see what's after Sonic Riders. Two, specifically. Oh no, Hellcleave is getting bullied. Save Hellcleave! No, heal him! Oh, he's out of range! Oh, that's so unfortunate. He wasn't targetable, and Hellcleave couldn't be healed from there. That was unfortunate. Rip. I tried. I needed to get closer, apparently. Nice level up. Yeah, so we're gonna hit them a little bit. Got back to watch myself die. I tried. I went for the fireball out of range, went for the heal, didn't heal. Rip. Slow down the Babudos. So we still got a few chances of Cannon Rouge. I would be amused if we got a rare boss right at the end though. Goodbye. He's gonna guarantee the kill as he dashes through me. battle, nice. One other power material, that's a good pick up. Zap, zap time. Oh, I did get a freeze on them. We're definitely gonna Gafoe spam now that they're both frozen. I think we did our job there. Debuffed, frozen, walk away. Spam for more damage. I think from here on out, it's better for me to just magical piece. Get a debuff going for the group. <laughs> Slightly early on the Gifoe, but I don't think it mattered there at all. I think that was fine. Oh, that didn't do enough damage. That's a shame. Yeah, like only this Rappy wave is like maybe worth refoeing. Other than that, I'm just gonna stick Gifoe here. Also, I thought it was a Gafoe merge. Oops. I'll blame being slightly tired on that one. Oh. Does this character have the, the setup? They kind of do. I guess they could be practicing this. Gifoe takes forever to cast. Like, I think it's still better for me to initiate the Gifoe myself, and then when the Gifoe's out, I could do the menu. That's how it's kind of set up currently. 
my bad. <laughs> I went into old habits. I gotta learn to do the fast cast, because it is useful. That frame perfect of Bowie. It's just more damage. It's not unlearn things we were learning at the beginning of the year. I know it's on a break, but uh gotta try a little harder than that. Got massively laser rip. Definitely want that luck material before we go further. Nice. Yeah, like it's definitely better for me to wait a little bit and then we just get foe. Ooh, Cannon Rouge. There we go. All zeroed, though. Rip. Well, at least we could say we did eventually find the item we were looking for. And of course, it was not during very week. <laughs> it was we got it right at the tail end of XP week before, or the beginning of XP week, I mean. Oh, well. There's a legitimate effort, I guess. Do wake up frame one, Rivarda. Ooh, I'm getting bullied hard here. Let me go rebuff the team here. In fact, you know what? I'm gonna switch back to Magical Beast full time. I really don't need the other spells at this point. Slightly get the frame run Rivardas. So that would help the team. <clears throat> okay, I think that was pretty good. Definitely spamming heal for the team. Another luck material. Hmm. Okay. Nice. Got run over, rip me. Uh, let's go pick up some materials then. Not bad. Ooh, photon drop. Congratulations. I think this menu is right. It's definitely Gazan, Rabarda, Razan. Like, these three look right. I don't know if the rest look right. I guess I'll find out. Yeah, I gotta be careful. To, if I think I'm getting attack cancelled, it's definitely not worth doing the other thing. Yeah, there we go. So we cleaned up our gameplay a little bit. But the sad part is that even though I did that well, it didn't set up for this wave. Oh well. Practice is practice, I guess. Definitely want to debuff them as soon as I can. There we go. Freeze them, freeze them. Back to Gafoe spam. Uh, probably just one frame perfect Gafoe. Team will clean up this wave. I'll slightly chip with the zoos. I mean, I think that actually worked because if you noticed. I actually put them at uh, one Gafoe more damage than normal. And one of them looked like they were hit by two Gafoe's more than normal. Instead of being at 1300, he's literally at 100 when he spawned. So it, it definitely does make a difference if you spam it. Because you just have tighter flames, so you have more in the room in general. Yeah, see, it went straight to 1300. So me not doing that earlier was costing 600 damage. So that, that gives a good idea of, like, why it's important to remember to use your technique menu with forces. 
So instead of dealing 2200, I was doing about 2900 damage. Which, if I was playing single player, that would have been strong enough to one shot the entire enemy wave. So that is a very significant increase in damage by uh, doing that properly. Speaking of doing things properly, let's do a little wiggle waggle. I have a good foe here to slow them down slightly. Oh, that time it's in the proper position. Huh, that doesn't happen very often. I'm gonna stun lock them a little bit here. Or I'll just get hit out of it, that sucks. Once it's down to just two, I'm gonna focus on Gafoe spam. Yeah, see what I mean? Like, yeah, I'm now just putting him at 1300. Like, that is such a big damage difference. Hmm. The importance of stacking Gafoe in real time. Yeah, the female in particular loses potentially a lot of time because she already has a slower cast, so putting even more delay on that makes her fall really far behind. I'm sad I got pushed into the middle here. Normally I'm more towards... or not the middle. I got pushed out of the middle. Normally I'm more towards the middle is what I meant to say. Oh well. Back to stacking. They almost died instantly. So even in... Even in multiplayer, I almost killed the Rappies instantly on spawn down here. Which is crazy that I can have that much stack of Foe out. Goodbye, Zeus. the Rappies a moment or two to recover, then I think I'm gonna Gafoe again. Get a couple Dive Fluids, because I see they're here. Pop out a little Gafoe. Take a Mono Grinder. So yeah, I'm just gonna tell myself, don't be lazy with it. Do the menus, it's worth it. So potentially two forces using the menus is strong enough to kill literally every wave almost instantly. That's pretty crazy. And again, this isn't even the character that is good. Oh! I got stuck on my menu by accident. That was my bad. Rip one of my escape dolls. How many do I have left? Two? Oh, that's fine. I was checking my menu to... Uh, Look to see if the order looked correct, but then I realized I'm not casting spells with the other buttons. I was like, oops. Make sure we don't lock ourselves out of the cancel menu. We'll do wake up Gafoe, that'll be fine. So we almost have Mag Blast, but not quite. Yeah, see, the one closest to me was taken down to 700 from over almost 3,000 health. That's a lot of damage. Gotta be careful here, because I'm getting struck. The downside of putting the Gufoe that high is it's harder to repeat it. So I was contemplating not for the speed reasons before, if I get interrupted, is it worth moving Gufoe on the list just to recast it faster? But honestly, if it's already on my toolbar, I could make that judgment call much faster. So, that's fine. So, uh, don't need the die fluid because I escaped dolls. Take the grinder though. Yeah, I think we got a good variety in. Three different quest types. Potentially would have done more. We never ended up doing an Endless, which is a bit sad. But potentially we could just do Endless for XP. Because Endless is just stupid anyway. So I guess it just depends on if people want to level ults tomorrow or not, if we get Endless in. Since there are so many good rares in Episode 1, we could pick up that way. While still getting good XP. without the requirements being too high, because you just need to do basically a boss rush minus falls. is isn't too bad. So you don't need like 1500 HP or 1300 or whatever. I'm 
Welcome, Zazuki. Hope you're doing well. So thankfully, you're streaming this while playing. I miss this game with a passion. Is this as close as I could get to the game now nowadays? What do you mean it's the closest you could get to the game? So we're playing on PC. You're more than welcome to hop into the Affinia server. Yeah, as long as you have a PC, you can play. I mean, unless you're talking about like the old, old, like uh, GameCube version or something. That makes more sense because people might lose the console or whatever. I actually don't remember if I enabled the Affinia command or not. The shortcut to the Affinia site. But otherwise, we're just playing free to play. Thank you for checking, Chaos Finia. Sorry about the menuing there. I could have done that while moving. Slightly inefficient of me. Yeah, so the first link is the site itself, then it's our Discord, and then it's the Affinia Discord. Affinia Discord I highly recommend for trades, and sometimes looking for group if you're playing at odd hours. Otherwise, our, our group usually responds with looking for group. Generally, chat is just always playing. Maybe not in, like, huge numbers or anything, but... At least it's a bigger base. Alright, so I got the Mag Blast again. You know what, I think I'm just gonna full greed on this boss, to be honest with you. I'm gonna disrespectful walk in a straight line. I'm not even gonna dodge tornado. <laughs> like, that's that's the level of hubris we're experiencing right now, chat. Like, I'm just gonna feed my mag so it does more damage. Give it a couple stars. Boost the damage we deal. Uh, I don't think I have anything that increases evade specifically. Up to Ice Staff or Bard Emerge. Come on, try and punish me. See what happens. Oh, you're going straight to Laser? Oh, you're such a jerk. I can't do that on Laser. That's like the only attack I can't punish. So rude. Really? You're gonna do it again? Oh, how could have slightly too far from it, missing the back one? Can you please do another attack? No, we're just in the infinite? I'm even far away from you. You should be triggering other attacks. So rude. Ah, now I'm punishing. <laughs> there we go. I just needed, like, any other attack, please. So this should put it pretty close. Oh, never mind. A bit more than close. GG. Damn, that did over 4,000. Synchro made a big difference there. Tiki, pew 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 lasering. Ooh, knock me down so I can maybe do animations and stuff during it. Oh! Oh! I think I got it. But I don't know if she has any jiggle stuff. Oh, I can't make her hair flap around. I can cast spells during this, though. Oh, yeah, her little floofy... Part of her hat doesn't do anything. Oh, that's so disappointing. Suzuki says, I have a laptop, but it's old and I have no virus protection on it. Uh, you won't get viruses from it. If anything, you have to tell um, Windows Defender to not mark it as virus. Windows Defender is actually pretty strong in general, unless you have like a very old version of Windows. Well, rip the Sonic soundtrack. It lasted almost long enough. Heavenly ability, nice. To get to the end. Is that a 50 hit gun year? Ice gun year? Come on. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Chat, that is so disappointing. Could you imagine? That would have been a 60 tech charge gun year. That would have been so good. <sighs> that would have been like 10 out of 10. Chat would have been excited. That would have been like, that's an actual upgrade. Qcast would have been like so happy to get that extra 10 ATA. But yeah, the requirements for this game are actually pretty low, Suzuki, to be honest with you. Like, I'm not gonna say like it doesn't have some requirements, but it's much, lo much lower than other ones. Yeah, definitely just give it a shot. 
Um, the Discord for Affinia is probably better for troubleshooting any install problems you might come into. But it's it's pretty low-end requirements. I mean, I think I had a old laptop from, I don't know, like 2008, and it was able to run it. So, like, it, it definitely does not need, like, end-of-the-line stuff for sure, if you're interested. It's more making sure you have some stable internet. So Wi-Fi may or may not agree with you, depending on the strength of your Wi-Fi, but everything else should be good. So what is next on the soundtrack list? So goodbye, Sonic Rider Riders. Let's go back to this. Yeah, yeah. Care about my privacy. Disagree to all. Yada, yada. So we did Riders, Rivals, Rivals 2. Next up is Sonic Riders Zero Gravity. Uh, I think I got that loaded up. Indeed I do. I partially played it before. There we go. So I'm going to switch over to Blue ID. You new world. I'm going to make sure... I don't technically need the Excalibur, but I need to make sure she at least has a Gyre or something to do. Got the Vice. <sighs> Maybe I should have put that Excalibur away. I think I need to unlock one of these Excaliburs for her, so that becomes less of a problem in the future. Oh well, let's stand in for money. Thank you for the follow, Suzuki. So we're coming- it, it is literally XP week this week. So it's not bad for starting a new character this week, for sure. So you get a higher bonus than normal. I don't remember if I see bank one properly, so I'm just gonna do it again. I didn't trust it myself. Yeah, I would say, I guess it's, like, I would say if, you're, if your laptop is at least, like, maybe an XP and beyond, it's probably fine. If we're talking, like, real, real old, that I, that I don't know. Because I used to play it, I think, on an XP laptop as my backup back then. Okay. So, a final quest before we go on a brief break. 14 years gives or take. Yeah, sounds about right. So, it sounds like you're probably about on par. And I didn't, it wasn't even a gaming laptop, just for clarity, too. It was just like your average laptop at the time, like on a Windows deal kind of thing. Okay, let me make sure I have Dark Flow. So Vices, Lava Sword, maybe Girasol. So final run of the night for people that are interested. 60 hit Vice, check. Lava Cannon, check. Last Swan just because, check. Ooh, Kunai's fun. Sounds like a lot of fun. Oh wait, she already has. Oh, she already has the last one. Oops. Who doesn't have the last one? Huh. Oh, maybe my Fomor will put one in there or something weird. Because I have Vivian last one Berserks. I got Charge Gun here as my backup on the boss. I guess that's okay. Probably fine with this setup. Although, since it is episode two, why don't we take a safety escape doll? And then I think we're good. I have way too many items, but that's fine. We'll figure it out. VR and almost reach for the dream. No, no, no. Respect of tomorrow. Very dramatic music for us entering the lobby of this area. 
Hmm, I think I'll start with some less swan action here. Oh, all of us have level 20 techs. We can only blame ourselves if we're techless. I see someone has brought their hell to the party. <laughs> I was like, hmm. Well, that's not a fireball. Oh, I gotta do it this way. Uh... I gotta change her buttons slightly. That's fine. Yeah, we have a couple guides for kind of getting into some of the Affinia stuff for people just looking to play by themselves. I think if you do exclamation mark guide, I, we're guides, plural. I think I did both. Uh, we just go over some of the classes and some of the basics. We'll be expanding in the guides, I think, once the event is over. We're gonna do a now I'm an ultimate. So what do I do? But I haven't decided what fun little term I'm gonna do it. Might call it like the rags to riches guide, because we had the pauper guide. So maybe we gotta have you ascend out of uh, being poor. And Hulkley probably knows more about the richest part than I do, to be honest. So, I had very limited experience with challenge weapons. They seem nice for what they were. But they're definitely not required to do a lot of the endgame runs. They definitely enable runs for certain classes, don't get me wrong. But a lot of the basics were your, you know, your RTs, your TTFs. Uh, your MAEs in Episode 4 don't really need the challenge weapons. The quest like this does benefit from it. This would be like one of those examples where it might be worth a V502 or something. Oh, last one. I love you so much. I should have hit the Rappies. Yeah, I got Kunai to help me with switches. Whatever. Vivian's always nice if I could get close, which I should be able to here. So at least I could do some big damage pretty quickly. Ooh. I was not in the right position to hit that properly. I got bailed out though. Oh, I cannot wait till this character gets like one more mini upgrade. The trap made me retarget. I was so unlucky. Thought I was out of range of the trap. Pixel too close. Goodbye. Yeah, once this character gets red ring, it's gonna be so good. Honestly, I might even just do bonus session on Monday. We'll see how it goes. I don't normally stream on Monday, but I also have off on Monday. I'm not gonna promise like an early stream, but I could do like a... Potentially like a 5 to 8-ish stream, maybe? Just for more bonus time while it's XP week. But then after that, I have- I always have plans in the evening, so hard evening, I don't want to do that. So I'm not going to go to like midnight or anything. I just figured to slip in some more PSO, since we got interrupted from our normal bonus stuff. So we got to do a makeup one at some point. I guess Monday would be okay. I do like the name of Ghost for Tiggy and then using the stealth suit. I appreciate the lore of the character.
Oh, I thought I cast anti to cancel the paralysis. I cast cure by accident. Oops. <laughs> I think I wounded one of the pieces pretty well just then. So if I give a charge gun to your hero, I should actually be able to do damage. Yeah. Pretty close. Got him. Checkmate, dumb Barbara Ray. Now I'm going to use my visual cue to line up with the, the raft. And we get to enjoy some Sonic. Yeah, my visual cue has always been I look at the dent in the boat and then I go like maybe within one step left of it. So, so anywhere I think where the group is is probably fine. So we'll see who is in the better position. <laughs> We're gonna hold our ground. Drum roll for dramatic effect. Who is the closest to being centered? Mm hmm. Okay, I think Hellcleave was. Good job, Hellcleave. I'm still able to get there from where I'm at, so I still passed. So I probably could have taken one more step over. Goodbye, kill chick. That hell usage, disgusting. Just believe in the one shot, one kill. I also have a fifth gen iPad. I think that would be better to try for the older laptop. Um, I mean, I know people do use those kinds of devices, maybe? I feel like with Mac more specifically, there's usually more issues with it. Like, you might have to run it through things like, I want to say Vine, for example. It's not as direct if it's a Mac specifically. I'm not going to say you can't run it. It's just if you're not used to setting up that kind of stuff, it could be annoying. But there, there are people that play on, like, the stream decks or whatever they're called. Steam decks, excuse me. Versus like an actual laptop. Checkmate, Del Saber. Yeah, I just I, I don't I'm not a fan of Apple products, so I I definitely have limited experience with it. Even in my line of work, I don't really touch Apple. Lost myself by accident. That was not good. Uh... Hold on, just draining my health real quick. Need like one more, one more. Uh, see if the game cooperates with me. Yeah, definitely. I understand. I, I know a lot of people that end up with uh, that. Somebody please restore my HP. Oh, come on. Mag, invinci oh. Mag invincibility, please. Sorry, chat. I'm very grumpy. I waste. I took all that time to drain my HP, and I'm. this is the only time I need mag invincibility to work. So I can't approach due to this, or I'll die. Now I can move forward. How annoying. Because this weapon specifically requires it. I'm going to take a safety heal here. Yeah, that was a good call. That was a very good call. Uh, why didn't I switch the lava scan in there? Hello? Safety heal. Good safety heal. Yeah, a lot of people will end up using it for the art programs. That I don't blame you. Totally, totally get it. Totally get it. I think I first learned it on Mac. 
working some of those applications. But uh, I did not really have a knack for it, so I moved away from it personally. <clears throat> I mean, sometimes it's useful for me to have some experience with things like Photoshop. Like in particular, when I need to modify images, when I'm touching up emotes and stuff like that. So even if I'm not using Photoshop directly, I'm using something like GIMP, like a free alternative. Uh, you know, it's useful. I haven't really had a need to apply some of the more advanced techniques like filters, but maybe one day. So yeah, I mean, as I said before, it's possible. That would, that would be a good question for people that are uh, in the main Discord for Affinia. I'm sure people have tried it. I'm 100% sure somebody's tried it. Whether or not they have steps for it, I'm not sure. I know, for example, uh, Matt, one of the admins, has written a few steps on how to install on a couple different ones. But I don't know if it's specifically for iPad, since I don't own those devices. So for me, it wasn't relevant at the time. So maybe I'll try to look into it and modify one of the links to do it going forward. Wouldn't be the worst thing ever to do. So I might do like an exclamation mark PSO install or something. Nice job, yeah. Just having a casual walk through the beach. I don't really think this belongs at a boss rush. I don't mind having like potentially difficult waves to get through, but like clever little puzzles to get through the rooms. Yeah, just not a big fan of walking simulators for sure. Eighteen more levels. This character will finally be free. Who we'll help leave going for the robot on the side? I'm sort of putting in the work. And it sounds like a Crash Bandicoot tra soundtrack. I have not played that series in so long. Honestly, I couldn't even picture the the music. I remember like sound effects from the game when it goes like bum, bum, bum. like whenever you get the little voodoo mask. But the soundtrack itself eludes me. Dr. Neo Cortex. Yeah, I think the last game I played in that series was, uh... Ooh, what was it called? I was about to say Crash Team Racing, but that's not true. Oh, I needed to drain my HP. Whoops. Whoops, forgot to Berserk. Do that real quick. Need one Lava's Cannon Swing, I think. Okay, now we're good. It was, uh... It was like a collection of mini-games. Crash Bash. I think it was Crash Bash. <laughs> that was testing my that was testing my knowledge. I had to really think about that. I was like, man, it's been so long since I played those. Yeah. It had like a whole plethora of things to do in it, but it was kinda like, uh, it was okay. Then after that I kinda realized I wasn't any good at platformers, so I gave up. 
Hmm, dare I risk getting hit here? I think I take a safety dime eight to survive a tornado. And then just get ready for some last swanning. Oh, I actually didn't get targeted? Wow. Interesting. Normally I get bullied hard by this boss. It's a weird feeling. I will look at what chat is sent in a moment. Okay, so no matter what here, I would have needed to switch weapons. I'm glad I took the safety heal there. That was definitely worth it. Okay, saved it. Here you sounds easier and just trying to laptop. Got buddies I managed to get on Switch, so she could guide me to get his laptop. I know to get on Switch is a process, definitely what you're doing. Switch, thought I found the website with the download with Ultima, but was scared to try it. Uh, well, we're not on Ultima, just to be clear. We're playing on Affinia. Was on game's website, so assuming okay. I mean, you can play the on the Ultima server. That that's a that's a personal call. But right now we're playing on Affinia. I definitely cannot help you with Ultima. I don't know if they need additional steps. Maybe a very long time ago, I briefly tried Ultima. That would have been 2015? Maybe I might have tried Ultima. I probably have an account there that I opened once and they gave up on. How is he not targetable? That's so unfair. So unfair. I, should, I got robbed. I should be able to shoot them. Actual highway robbery. One better than the other. Um, I don't want to go to the politics of the server. I just prefer Affinia at this point. I think it gives me more of what I'm looking for in the game compared to Ultima. For people looking for a more custom experience, maybe you'll have more fun with Ultima. I think there's been enough big changes recently in Affinia that I could never go play another version of PSO at this point again. Yeah, the, 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 probably, probably the thing that is most known is that if you donate, you can get items. And there were a lot of like early event items that were given out that are like really, really strong compared to what you can normally get. And obviously if you happen to have had those, you're just in like a different league. But if you're looking for a different experience with PSO, maybe the customization is your thing. I think it has a lot of unlock weapons because some weapons normally can only get one attack out and they're kind of useless. So Ultima did some of those. I think they added a bunch of items too. And also redid some difficulty if I remember correctly. But this one plays kind of like... I'm gonna say Vanilla Plus. Ex <clears throat> I'm gonna say Vanilla Plus. Oops. I wanted to kill the box, but I've given up on that venture. I'm actually really close to Mag Blast. I might get hit on purpose just to use it. Because we are down a person. But then again, we are all also all DPS. So who knows? I feel like I'm still gonna get hit by the stupid double eater. Ooh, good freeze. Really good freeze. That was sick. Goodbye. Def love and nostalgia feeling more than custom. Yeah, so that's the thing too. So Suzuki, one other thing uh, that Affinia is doing. So if you want a really, really close to GameCube experience, they actually have uh, what's called classic. So that has the literal old drop tables from GameCube. So if you want to be a, mostly a GameCube purist, that is as close as you will get. And then if you don't want to do that and you want to see some of the, you know, rework drop tables, play a little bit of episode four, maybe some of the things that were added for Blue Burst, those options are there. So you, you have the option to do both in Affinia. So I think that would be worth noting. Personally, I looked at the drop chart of GameCube and I went, hell no. 
<laughs> with like, wait, they were this bad when I played? Uh, yeah, I don't think so. But hey, for people looking for purely that GameCube experience, there's nothing wrong with going for that. For me, it was, uh, no way. <laughs> it was like, I, I love episode four too much to do it as well. But then again, I'm a, I'm a filthy force player, so it is what it is there. Is Morphos worth, worth killing in blue ID? I don't remember. Good enough. Yeah, no problem. If you have questions about the server and stuff. Oh, it's Twin Blaze? Interesting. Oh, I stepped on it right at the end. That was foolish. Let me help take you out a little. That was my bad. Could have just waited like half a second. Would have been fine. 100? Nice. Yeah, I think I also just said 100. The room prior. Everybody's got 100 now. Do a quick little... I'm going to plug myself here. Why not? I think it works. Or is it this? Oh, those don't work? I'll have to check that later. I know I definitely have a link to the stuff that I did. Oh, you know what? You know what it is? It's probably... Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. I had to differentiate because we play a lot of games. Yeah, so we, we talk about some of the character differences. Um, we go through some of the basic stuff. We're going to be releasing one, I think, on Ultimate. Oh, well, definitely before Anniversary event. And we're... I don't know if I need to split it up or not. We'll see. I might split the video up. We might just have it as one session where we talk about all the items. Uh, I'll use Mila. But essentially, we're just looking to get players started, especially since there are some custom quests, which I think is an okay example of custom content, where it's just like a new way to experience areas you've already been to, and you, you know, you've played it to death, you just want to see what else can be done with the game kind of things. And those are kind of fun. Or in general, if you've never really gotten to the end game of PSO in general, being able to talk about what items are useful as you get there definitely helps. So we talk a little bit about things like class pro and con. We don't ever really talk about section IDs specifically, and that'll probably be in one of the next videos. We'll also do a video on Joydeki, which I'll probably do almost immediately after Valentine's ends for people looking to do my kind of setup. There's a lot of things you can use to uh, add buttons to your controller. So for example, like I'm actually using two sets along the bottom. You could see, uh, it's technically one to zero or zero to nine, however you want to call it. Uh, all of those I'm able to use on the controller because I am not a keyboard player for sure. So if you want to take advantage of your full controller functionality, you could do it through Steam, you could do it through other things, of course. Uh, but I just happen to use Joy to Key to have the controller set up. So that way, for example, if I hold in the back trigger, which is not normally used, because you think you have the GameCube controller, it's got the left and the right. And that's about it. It doesn't have like a L2, R2 from PlayStation, for example. And so we're able to actually use all the techniques at the bottom, which again is a big quality of life improvement for Affinia, especially since you don't get locked out of the second bar anymore. Also, I got episodes one and two, never finished all the quests, never fully finished the game, got ruins the ultimate, never got past that. 60 something mage. I'm gonna I debuff the boss. Oh, that debuff! That debuff was so sick. That did so much damage. 160 as in level. No, 160 is really good. Especially since it's kind of hard to grind it out on GameCube. Uh oh, I got Brud from Tiggy. Did you like that boss deletion, Tiggy? After the Zalore, it was over. Somebody used charge or something right at the end. 
But with that defense down, it was GG. <laughs> I know. I'm like, I just wanted, I just walked up to Lord and boom, the damage like tripled. <laughs> it's like, okay. Yeah, that's fair. Goodbye. Worth. Did, oh, somebody got it? Hey, Tiggy! Yeah! Oh, all three of us did Delore. Nice. Tiggy's like, oh, I'm the best. <laughs> Just casually getting one of the better drops in the game. Don't worry. Tiggy OP. There we go, Tiggy. I made it up for all those times you didn't get Parasitic Gene Foil. And hey, remember, chat, I said every about every six runs, somebody gets a Parasitic Gene Foil. Tiggy has... Kept the tradition alive. Every six, somebody gets one. So now we're going to reset. Nice. Double S rank. Never expect to see an SS from anybody. Big 20,000. Never tried to boss on ultimate, but really wanted to. Never finished episode two. Oh, don't worry. Don't worry. I, I for the longest time, I didn't bother with episode two. And honestly, even today, I don't really bother with it. This is like one of those exceptions to the rule. So I think I needed to manage my health a little better, but I think I did okay. I actually dark float on two bosses. Um, I need to get a better hit Jaya for this character. Forget, do I have one floating in here anymore? No. I mean, I could just make her keep a Jaya. I guess there's no downside to that. I do unfortunately don't have enough Lava's Cannons. Those I gotta kind of give up. Put away Dark Flow. Tiggy found an 85 hit Disco. Oh, nice. Tiggy gonna be Rambo batoning the bejesus out of everything. So, yeah, sounds like, uh... Oh, and it was a charge disca too? Oh, never mind then. Just use it as is. We call that most fortunate. Yeah, if it's charged, you can just leave it as is. Just kill everything. Oh, it's a rest. That's still fine. Yeah, that was a pretty solid run. I think, though, Chad, we did end up taking a while because this quest went over time. So we're going to be taking a break from PSO. So for people that stuck around for PSO, we're going to give you a special thanks. We'll be doing another bonus stream, I think, tomorrow. Normally, we don't do evening streams on Sunday. But for PSO, during an event, we'll make an exception. And we'll also maybe slip in maybe two and a half or three hours on Monday towards uh, early afternoon. So for those looking for a lot of PSO content, we're going to make up for it, I think, in the next couple days. So hopefully you're able to join in. But let's give a little little send off before I go on a brief food break, because I am very hungry. Let's chat it up. So how do we think the runs went? Well, we technically somebody got a cannon rouge so technically episode four was not a bust it just didn't drop a very well world one obviously parasitic gene flow dropping for tiggy 11 out of 10. <laughs> if tiggy needs pds he could probably just trade hellcleave for it <laughs> hellcleave will definitely take it for sure but uh yeah we got some decent xp i definitely want to keep leveling the hue new world so maybe one of the days that we play on xp week uh, I will do more uh, boss rush kind of things to get XP between episode 4, episode 2, and episode 1. And hopefully that'll be enough to kind of bring our characters that are like 170-ish up to 180 or the 160s up to maybe late 160s or high-end 160s. So that way I can get closer to using Red Ring. So I'm still whipping Dark Flow a little bit on some enemies, but obviously having 20 extra accuracy from Red Ring, which the level requirement was adjusted to be level 180, means that, uh, yeah, I, I'm going to be missing that 20% accuracy on most things. So being able to switch from normal to heavies or heavies to sometimes specials will be a very big upgrade for the Hunor roll. And on top of that, I'm double checking. She's also not max ATP. 
So she still has a lot of room to potentially to grow, both in terms of raw stats and ability to upgrade equipment. So I'm definitely looking forward to seeing what she feels like around 180. But right now I'm feeling mostly happy with her. I just need to do more runs with her. So I think I'll dedicate at least one session to just leveling her and the Hugh Cassiel. Because I like both classes, but they're definitely uh, delicate. <laughs> they need a lot of attention to level. So until it's XP up, it's like I'm not sure I want to play them as much. Once they get close to like 170-ish, I think they'll be completely fun. But having eight more levels of ATP would be pretty huge because that would put me above a lot of the rangers in terms of ATP. Uh, and then from there, I would potentially also be able to free up another slot, depending on what I'm using to cap my stats. So we'll take a look. But I think for now, chat, we're going to say goodbye to those that were here for PSO. So if you did watch to this point in the video of the VOD, I'd just like to say thank you again for watching. And hopefully see you again in another PSO bonus stream next time.